What is up, you guys? Got a lovely set right there today. It was over here, and now it's over here. Um, so, yeah, what's up? I don't really know what I have inspiration for today. I know I want to do, like, space buns. And then I saw this girl on TikTok, um, like, do these fake freckles, but not so, like, a li like she wasn't really necessarily, oh, my eyelashes came off. She wasn't necessarily, like, tan, in the middle, like as tan, you know what I mean? In the middle. So I was like, maybe I'll try those kind of. That kind of vibe today. I think it's time for me to get my lashes done. In LA, we have a curfew every night. It's been like that for the past um, week maybe it's crazy here <sighs> sorry my life itch is so bad they're getting better though they're healing as I say as I'm picking them they're getting better um yeah I'm just filming for Adam and Eve today which I'm really excited about that's kind of like my job arms are so doughy ew yeah it's basically my job it's my consistent even though OnlyFans is like my consistent onlytrish.com everyone's always like how do I get your OnlyFans and OnlyFans is confusing you just go to onlytrish.com makes it easy but um yeah I mean that's like my job too but like Adam Nave is kind of like that consistent sponsor I guess I don't know I really want to pick this. There's like a dark scab and I'm going to pick it, but I'm not. Oh, it did bleed. See, the scratching will make it bleed. So again, I kind of want to just do a pretty simple. I do not like, I got two of these. I don't like them. They, they make me greasy really fast. So I don't know if that's really for me. I really want to get into tinted moisturizers, but yeah, I don't think that's it for me. So... You know what my go-to is? Is the Estee Lauder and the Makeup Forever. Like, they're pretty heavy, which kind of sucks. But these are kind of my go-to. Oh, they're really, really dark. I look very pale today. Um, I look like St. Patrick's Day. I saw Lindsay Way, Gerard Way's wife, um, wear this a while ago. And I got, I got it. I saw it on Redbubble or something, like one of those sites. I thought it was so cute, so I, of course I got one as well. Oh, wouldn't that be crazy? I mean, obviously you're married to the person, so like it doesn't matter, but I couldn't even imagine. I don't think I could be married to like a rock star or an actor who um who's literally like just like desired by so many. I guess Gerard, mostly teenagers. I mean, obviously I'm 32, but I mean it's obvious. Like I'm not I'm not like oh my god I'm gonna marry him. You know what I mean? I just like a fan of his music and his work and his activism and all that stuff like that but I guess you're I guess you're secure at that point I mean you have a kid with him and I guess you just become secure oh this is a cover ridge whoa I forgot how full coverage this was it's sad we are covering everything today Maybe it's because I put the product on the back of my hand, you guys. So thank you for those continuous comments, <laughs> for real. Cause like, you know, you see something enough and you're just like, maybe it's true. I mean, not always, don't always go by that. But as soon as you see something you're like, hmm, maybe they're onto something. <laughs> I don't know if it's lighting in here or what, but I'm stuck at coverage lately. I am like blotchy with it. So if you guys have any tips for covering better, let a girl know. I'm putting a little more on because it's Adam and Eve. <laughs> I'm like, ooh, my big one today. Silly. But that's just the world we live in. So I'm obsessed with a new musical. It's really weird. Quarantine, obviously I love musicals, but I usually get obsessed with a musical after I've seen it. 
well, quarantine has made me obsessed with musicals I've never seen before. The newest one, Hades Town. I posted a picture of Eurydice. Is that how you say it? Eurydice. The Greek nymph goddess that was married to Orpheus, who uh, was attempted to be rescued from Hades, hell, by her lover with his sweet, sweet music. Um, I don't really know her full origin story, but I'm definitely curious about it because I see a lot of like fan art and stuff and I'm like, okay, this is very intriguing to me. Um, so I'm definitely going to delve more into it. See, I don't know if I, maybe I should just try straight up freckles without the unnecessary contour. Because it was really cute how this girl did it, but she was kind of like a 70s vibe chick. So I think that's probably why she looks a little cuter. And she had them go pretty far up. I know you can't really see it on, the light's like too bright. But she had them go pretty far up her nose. I guess subtlety is key in this, but still. I guess it's like not as noticeable without that little tan right there. But you know, we can put a little bronzer. Get them go all the way up which may be a little much for me but it's it's cute freckles are so cute if you have them naturally don't hide them my sister and my brother both had natural freckles and at first i was like oh that's kind of weird but they look so cute now is that funny like big butts and being thick used to be so gross like big butts were like i mean i guess like back in the day you had that big butt song like as a novelty of like oh this guy's saying he likes big butts like when during that time like big butts were just not in sometimes you just get bored you know sometimes you just get bored and today is that day that i am bored we're just bored with the same old i would think it you guys like not to be that person because i really don't like harping on things but that are negative, but 2020, what the hell, ma'am? I saw this TikTok, and I'm not bashing anyone that protests. I totally believe in the right to do it. I think it's brave. I think people are, I think it's amazing that people are doing that. Um, but someone was saying, like, what happened to coronavirus? Like, people are so close to each other now, with some without masks. I, and that is a good point. Like, are we done with it? Is coronavirus, I know it's not made up, but like, were they prolonging it longer than it needed to be to scare us? Like, it's like a whole ass thing. And I was like, yeah, that's kind of weird. Or, God forbid, this is the unfortunate situation. Is there a second wave that comes? I was listening to a podcast or something the other day where, um, Um, sorry, I have to like wipe this. It's so nasty. Sorry, my bad. You know, they were saying, we don't even know the long-term effects of people with corona. Like people can have coronavirus and survive it, but what's the long-term effect of it? Not to scare anyone, because if you got it, you got it already. It's not like you can do anything, but I thought that was a very um, valid, I guess, question. Like, oh, or thought, I guess. I'm so hungry. <laughs> I did really good. I didn't eat dinner last night, not promoting anything, but I'm just saying, like, sometimes for me personally, like, intermittent fasting works, but it's been really hard for me to get back on it. I need to do a little bit of blush. Maybe I'll do a little blush. I think that's the day to maybe do a little blush right there. 
I'm mean, just going overboard now. Mm -hmm. I think we're gonna go soup natural today and leave it at that. I guess I could powder, but kind of did that a little bit already. Somebody can get her. She dancing like a stripper. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I would just err on the caution of safety and wear a mask when you go out. California like we're required to so I just hope other places are too because I keep hearing about the second wave and again I don't want to be a conspiracist and add to something that's maybe not true but to err on the side of caution is always a good thing I feel yeah All right, so I have an idea for the space buns. I've seen some really cute people pull this off, but keyword, okay, there's like a weird thing, oh my gosh. Keyword, really cute people. <laughs> um. Okay, my hair is growing. That's what everyone keeps telling me, which is the good, well, not in the comments. <laughs> the comments are shave your head, but in real life, some people are like, oh my gosh, your hair getting so long. So it is growing. It's not getting damaged or broken. Here I am, once again, I'm falling into pieces, can't deny, can't pretend, just thought you were the one. Mm -hmm. I'm making Korean fried cheese today. So she had hers almost Harley Quinn-esque with a little bit of the bangs down. I'm going to see if I like, how I would do. Okay, let's do one side at a time, Trish. Okay. My hair I may not be long enough. I'm just figuring that out now. Secrets. Okay. Okay. All right. So we're gonna turn this on. So I'm doing like Harley Quinn-esque pigtails. I'm gonna do one, wrap two, and maybe three I'm gonna not pull all the way. My hair's kind of short for it. Kind of looks more sad. <laughs> I think you have to have nice like full. We'll see. I mean, if this is a hairstyle that I could pull off, it's very easy. Um, just in a life crisis, possibly. I feel like you're not really seeing the full extent of my front rolls. I think they're pretty fucking cute. You know what? I don't mind this hairstyle. It may not be the cutest, almost mature or age appropriate, but there's way more hair on this side too, which is freaking weird. Why is there more hair on this side? Oh. When I was in a kid going to school, like middle school, grade school, that's not grade school, maybe middle school, high school. I would always do crazy weird things every day with my hair to change it up. I was always doing something with my hair and I don't know where I lost that. I guess like getting a real job like at 18 and moving to LA and the stresses of like being an adult for real, for real. Ooh, that one, see that one's so much harder to get through on the third. Ooh, that one's tight. Um, It moved it differently because it's like a different hair. They're kind of cute. I mean, it's not really like sexy. They're just cute. That one's like sticking way up higher. Um.
cute. I don't know. You know what it is? It's like, it's cute for what it is, right? Like, yeah, it didn't take much. Oh, would you see though? Like that's, I didn't pull that one through all the way as much, but I think it's cute for what it is. I think it's a really easy hairstyle. Um, so I don't know. I mean, that was pretty easy makeup and everything today. So this is my look for today. Cute, simple space blends tutorial. All right, guys, I gotta go film. I gotta go eat. I gotta go to the grocery store because curfew again. During curfew, like, no place are delivering that. Domino's, nothing. So I definitely need to go get some food. But I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for getting ready for me. It's a very, very simple look today. But let me know what you think about it in the comments below. And the freckles, I think, are kind of cute. So.